Mana energy is a vital energy that is necessary for the three selves or beings within us to communicate and function properly. It is similar to concepts such as prana in oriental wisdom and mana in the Bible. According to ancient Huna wisdom, each being uses a different type of energy, the subconscious or anayapa uses simple mana, which is produced from food, water and air. The conscious mind or uhane uses manamana, a more refined version of mana, which is created from the mana that the anayapali collects and uses to exercise willpower and influence the anayapali in order to co-create. The superconscious mind or Aumakua uses mana loa which is an energy transformed from the mana and manamana and perhaps connected and transmitted also with help of divinity. All these three kinds of mana have five characteristics in common, they can be generated, stored, downloaded to be used at a time other than when it was collected. Doesn't decrease with time and distance, different from physical things or other kinds of energy, and can be transmitted from one being to another. These characteristics can be the origin of ancient legends that talked about healers and priests that were trained to help others with mana. And even on wars the warriors could be recharged and healed with mana with the help of these healers. There are two ways to generate mana energy, naturally through strong emotions or desires, and intentionally through control of breathing and visualization. The breathing impacts the subconscious mind and when you take control of it, you got the attention of your anayapali. So she can hear your orders and desires and then you both have a better connection, and also through deeper or stronger breathing you are also generating more mana. The visualization is also important because it is the way to give your desires or intentions form and make them more concrete. In conclusion, mana energy is a vital energy that is necessary for the three selves or beings within us to communicate and function properly. Dr. Hugh Len teaches his version of Ha breathing to infuse mana, in fact, he explains that Ha means the process of infusion and also says that this practice is not for the body, is for the soul. And calls it the four corners of the universe, he also explains that this breathing exercise can help us to close all the physic doors that may be opened and are distracting our subconscious mind. And that when you breathe you are breathing also to clean your family, relatives, and ancestors that came before you. The four corners of the universe breathing is like this. Inhale in ten times. Hold for ten times. Exhale in ten times. Hold empty for ten times. Do ten rounds of these cycles to clean yourself. In the pauses, holding time. He recommends to allow the change to occur, remember that the change and transmutation come from the divinity, so put your intention to receive it. This exercise can ground you to the present moment, can help you to be more focused to do your Ho'oponopono practice, also can undo depression and even help with jet lag. By understanding the concept of mana energy and how to generate it, we can access the power of our three selves and create a new reality for ourselves. Join Dr. Joe Vitali in his best course Ho'oponopono certification with Dr. Hugh Len at 90% discount only available on the description.